VIP WECO Configuration 1 installation. To ensure that a secure seal is achieved, clean the inside of the pipe and ensure that it's free of any surface irregularities. Lubricating the area where the VIP WECO will be positioned will help locate it in the optimum position. Ensure that the rubber sleeve is located centrally over the damaged area and position the vulcanized join at the 11 o'clock position. Lubricating the retaining band and groove will help in the positioning of the band. Starting with the band that is furthest away from you will make it easier to install the remaining bands. Once the retaining band is located in the groove, position the gap where the locking wedge is placed at the 5 o'clock position, opposite the vulcanized join. Insert the stainless steel shim behind the locking wedge section. This will stop the rubber sleeve from pinching when using the hydraulic spreader. Locate the hydraulic spreading tool between the jacking points on the retaining band. Using the hydraulic pump, begin to expand the retaining band to the required pressure stated on the pressure guideline datasheet. Lightly hammer around the circumference of the retaining band to help it locate in the groove. Use a hammer and chisel to locate the locking wedge. The locking wedge can be cut to size using a cutting disc. Once the locking wedge is located, release the pressure on the hydraulic spreading tool and visually check to ensure it is located correctly. Lubricate and locate the second retaining band in the locating groove. Repeat the steps that were applied to the first retaining band. Once installed, visually inspect the retaining bands to ensure they're located correctly. Installation of the VIP WECO is now complete. For further information on different configurations, pressure testing and endliner seal applications, visit our website www.vip-polymers.com.